This is the first question to the WAC 2015 mathematics theory question. It says, without using mathematical tables or calculators, simplify this expression. It's like WAC likes giving this type of question for the first question without using tables or mathematical um, without using tables or calculators, you can check the um, Y 2014 mathematics theory question. It's almost in the same fashion too. But anyways, let's let's simplify this question. It says three all number four all over nine four over nine divided by five all number one all over three minus two all number three all over four then plus five all number. 9 all over 10. Anytime we're giving this type of question, the first thing that should come to our mind is board mass. Board mass. But before we dive into board mass a bit, let's let's change this mixed numbers to improper fractions. Well, that 9 times 3 would give us 27. 27 plus 4 would give us 31. We'll have 31 all over 9 divided by this would be 5 times 3 is 15, then plus 1 16. This would be 16 all over 3. 16 all over 3 minus 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 would give us 11. This would be 11 all over the denominator, which is 4. Plus 5 times 10 is 50, plus 9 is 59. So that 59 all over 10. Now, let's go to board mass. Now, the, the board mass will say is. Anytime we're given fractions like this with different operations like uh, division, subtraction, or not even fractions, numbers, when we're given numbers generally and we're having different operations like division, multiplication, or addition, and subtractions like that, we have to follow this. We have to follow this order. That's the bracket first. We have to consider simplify um, numbers in the bracket first. Then the next one is the off operation. Anytime you have something like two of maybe 1 all over 5. This is still the same thing as 2 times 1 all over 5. So you have to consider operations with of. Then the next one is division, then followed by multiplication, addition, and subtraction. We have to go in that order, and that's what we'll do here. So here we have to consider the fractions in the brackets first, which is 16 all over 3 minus 11 all over 4. We have to simplify that. We have 16 all over 3 minus 11 all over 4. Now to simplify this, we have to find the LCM of 3 and 4. Then after that, we multiply the individual fractions by the LCM. Then divide 2 by the LCM. We'll do something like this. We'll do our table. Put the denominator 3 here and 4. So let's find the LCM. Now the number that can divide 3, the, the smallest factor that can divide 3 is 3. So say 3 divided by this 3 here will give us 1. 4 divided by 3 will give us 1 remainder 1. And we don't want the remainder, so it's right 4 back there. So the smallest number that can divide 4 is 2. So we can just say 2. 4 divided, I could just go 4 divided by 4 and uh, we'll get our final answer. But let's say 2. Four, the smallest factor that can divide 4 is 2. So write down 2. So we can still get again. Let's just put this 1 down here. So say the smallest factor that can divide 2 again is still 2. So say 2 divided by 2 gives us 1. So it means that the LCM, the LCM of the LCM of 3 and 4 is equal to this 3 times 2 times 2, 3 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 12. So we multiply 16 all over 3, 16 all over 3 times the LCM which is 12 minus 11 all over 4 times the LCM divided by the LCM. 3 here 1, 3 in 12 goes 4 times, 4 here 1, 4 in 12 goes 3 times. So we'll have 16 times 4 here will give us 64 minus 11 times 3 here will give us 33 all over 12. And this would be 64 minus 33 here is 31 all over the else uh, the denominator here, which is 12. So can just bring this down. We have 31 all over 9 divided by 31 all over 12 plus 59 all over 10. Now we are going. We are getting close to the answer. Now you notice we have the division and the addition operation here. But which of the operations do we use first? Now you we have to follow the order. Yeah, division comes before addition, so we have to divide before we add. To divide, 
and say 31 all over 9 we have to change division to multiplication now since we've changed division to multiplication it means this fraction here we have to find the reciprocal of that fraction there and that will be 12 all over 31 plus 59 all over 10. The next thing is which of the operations do we use? Do we use the multiplication or the addition operation? Now multiplication comes before addition so we have to multiply first and this will be 31 goes in 31 one time, 31 goes in 31 one time, 3 goes in 9 three times, 3 goes in 12 four times so we'll write 4 all over 3 plus 59 all over 10. Now we need to find the LCM of 3 and 10, multiply the Two fractions by the LCM and divide you by the LCM. But you'd agree with me that the LCM of um, 3 and 10 is 30. So don't have to go through the stress of finding the LCM. And this would be 4 all over 3 times 30 plus 49 all over 10. 10 times 30. Let me put this in brackets. Let me put this in bracket. Divided by the LCM, which is 30. 3 here, 1. 3 in 30 gives us 10. 10 here, 1. 10 in 30 gives us 3. So this will be 4 times 10 is 40 plus 49 times 3 here. Oh, this shouldn't be 49. It's 50. That should be 59. This should be 59. So that 59 times 3 here will give us 177. Or that 177 all over. 30 all over 30 let me bring this down a bit all over 30 so 40 plus 177 here is 217 all over the denominator which is 30 now 30 we can divide 2 1 we can leave this this is an, this is an improper fraction let's simplify we can simplify this further to get a mixed number so say 30 will go in 217 seven times because 30 times 7 is 210 so this will be 7 whole number, then remember 7, 7, all over the denominator, which is 13. So finally simplified what Y wants us to simplify.